If you're looking to make a tasty and easy strawberry shortcake, you can head to our website. Now, strawberry shortcake recipe this summer. Here's an expert from Food and Wine magazine with that recipe for you. My recipe for strawberry shortcake is a one pan version that is quicker and easier than the traditional. To get started, I'm going to grease and flour the baking pan. Take around a parchment paper and line the bottom. Grease the paper again as well. I'm going to dust it with a little bit of flour and this, along with the butter, helps to create a non-stick layer. Two cups of flour, quarter cup of regular granulated sugar, and then we'll whisk these two together just to make sure they're evenly combined before we continue. One and a half sticks of cubed cold butter. And the butter should be cold so that it stays in distinct pieces that later will give the scone dough some rise to it. I like to use my hands for this task just so I know when the butter is the correct size so that I can move on. The traditional strawberry shortcake dough is pretty dry and crumbly like a scone. I like to take from my southern upbringing and use a more buttery, tender biscuit type dough. So that's what I'm using here. So what I'm looking for as I continue to smash the butter into the flour is a gravelly, sandy texture. So now that my butter and flour mixture is where I want it, I'm going to make a well with my hands and this is where I'm going to pour in my cream. And how I like to mix dough for biscuits or scones, I like to slowly pull from the outside edge so that my fork never really stirs the butter and flour into the cream. And so I'm going to press the dough into an even layer in the pan. So this will bake at 425 for 30 minutes. So now that my shortcake is cool completely, I can start working on the filling, which is the best part, the strawberries and cream. So I know that the whipped cream is at the right stage when it's soft still and just gently folds over. And then I'm going to quarter each strawberry. I do use a serrated knife so they can more easily cut through the dough. I'm going to take half the cream and layer it on the bottom. I want to leave about half an inch of room at the edges because when I add the strawberries on top and the second biscuit layer, it will help spread the cream to the edges. I'm going to put the top layer of the shortcake over the strawberries. I'm going to cut myself a pretty big slice. This tastes just like the strawberry shortcake I remember, but in half the time. It's so good.